Hey everybody, Dr. Troy here, uh, Absolute Life Chiropractic. I'm with Dr. Stephen McGlente of DMX of Vancouver. Uh, came across Dr. Stephen's work. I've actually referred uh, some patients to him. And you know, I, I went to a recent training recently and, and they, they talked about the benefit of using motion x-ray to help document uh, instability and injuries in the spine. And you know, I, I've been hanging out with you and it's been fascinating to kind yeah. of see and just pick your brain about you know what you've seen with the injuries and I know I was doing some reading on, on research about people who have been in accidents nine out of ten of them have injuries uh, or tears and ligaments that, that number one I can't see on plain film can't see on an MRI can't see on traditional imaging yeah. but the motion imaging is amazing and I've, we've been watching some videos and different things of instabilities yeah. and fractures and it's just you know you're, you're number one you're gonna see a better you're going to be able to give a better treatment plan for the patient and a better outcome. So I just want to kind of maybe, uh, you know, for people who are watching or listening, you know, um, just some of the things that you've seen and, and some of the benefits that you've seen of using motion x-ray. Okay. You know, x-rays, like it's, this is actually a motion x-ray, and what it does, it just sees the spine in motion. So it looks at the strength of that cervical spine, that neck. And what we look at, again, is each specific region of the neck. And again, there's a ligament nice and tight holds everything nice and tight and if it's loose that's where treatment comes in we we'll strengthen it such as what you do so it's a better way to look at this the neck how it moves how it functions we do a 360 degree look at the neck we have the neck move in all ranges of motions again to look at that stability it's better to treat there's more patients to understand they see their injuries there's more compliance it helps attorneys if they need the documented proof that the patient is injured and it helps the insurance companies along the same lines of showing hey this person actually has soft tissue injuries right and that's been the hardest thing you know being a being in practice for 15 years is being able to document exactly with you know with technology that that really can show that the patient's been injured and I, and I was reading um, and watching some research on motion x-rays this one guy was in court and he said you know the doctor took six views of, of the spine with what I did in a matter of just a few seconds, I took 2,700 views. Exactly. And so, you know, a lot of doctors miss injuries because they're not taking the views. And so the, the, the motion x-ray just helps take the, the joints and the spine through full range so you know exactly how to fix the patient. Exactly. Absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. We look at it again like motion, and that's the key. We want to see how things move. And if they're moving too much, we want to stabilize them. If they're moving too little, we want to move that area. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense to do things in motion because we're, we're human beings. We gotta move, we move around. So it's when we do the motion x-ray, we see how things move, it makes treatment a lot easier. Good, and I know um, you know that, that this is really cool setup. It's not like an MRI. No. Um, so you know, it's, it's, you, you stand. You stand, it's weight bearing, it's non claustrophobic, and it's painless. Mm -hmm. um, and so how long does a typical, like a, like a neck series take? It usually takes about two minutes to do. Okay. So we do Pretty we have quick. a patient exactly. It's really quickly, like I said, painless. Patient moves in a three hundred sixty degree. We take a look at their neck movement. And, and you can do other joints too. Yeah, exactly. shoulders, wrists, shoulder, elbows, we do knee, jaws, you do knees as well. Knees, ankles, and wrists, low back, low back. Yeah, any joint pretty much. Exactly. Wow. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. So then you can just you know, for working with other doctors, we you know we can lay out a specific treatment plan to, to stabilize those areas and. and Help the patient get the best recovery. Exactly. Wow. So, all right. All right. Yeah. Well, good. Yeah, that's amazing. Anything else, Dr. Stephen, you want to add? If there's somebody out there who, are, you know, is looking at this and going, you know, what, you know, what should I do? You know, I've been injured. I've been to all these different doctors, even other chiropractors um, that may have never done any imaging. You know, what would you tell them? You know, whiplash. When people get into whiplash car accidents, it's a process. Injuries occur maybe the first month, and then you got different ones coming throughout mm -hmm. the next couple. Of so treatment-wise, it may not go away. And if you're still having the continuous posterior neck pain, the back of your head, you got this pain, you may have ligamentous instability. Yeah, yeah. And what happens is that when the spine moves a little bit too much, the ligaments are not doing their jobs to stabilize. Mm -hmm. So what happens is the surrounding muscles around that area tend to tighten up, causing you more problems, stiffness, headaches, posterior neck pain. But the problem lies, as you know, without motion, that spine will degenerate arthritis. Right. So that's why when motion x-ray, when, when the patient comes in, we perform the tests, we give the results back to the doctor, the doctor knows exactly what to do with it, what to fix, what to strengthen, and what to move. Yeah, yeah, no, and, 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 and I thought this was fascinating because 
with what we do in our office, you know, we, we use wobble chairs to help rehydrate the spine, and you saw exactly. those. Yes. Um, now we're starting to, to do head weighting so we can strengthen uh, the areas that are weakened with vibration, which actually we're seeing faster recovery times too. So this is a great pairing of, you know, what we do with spinal corrective work, but it first starts with, you know, really getting a detailed analysis of and diagnostic of, of the exactly. spine. And this has been this technology has been around for a long time, so it's well documented, well proven. Um, there's there's nothing you know no no experimental about it. No, this is actually uh, 1896. This is what's called fluoroscopy, but through technology, we added computers, digital cameras, optic mm -hmm. lenses, so it makes things a lot clearer. And the benefit is medical doctors or chiropractors or anybody in the healthcare field is radiation levels are really 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 uh, yeah, low. That's, that's what a lot of people ask about that. You know. Yeah. But with the computers and digital cameras, we're able to get a clearer view, keeping the radiation level really, really low. Right, and you, you, I think you, you were talking about you get like more sun exposure radiation than what you're gonna do with the routine series. Yeah, you yeah. You the sun for 15 minutes. Exactly, people who fly a lot in airplanes and stuff, they get more radiation than this. This is really, really, like I said, really low. Yeah, and that's, that's good for safety concerns. For exactly, too. You know, to give you an example, fluoroscopy in the hospitals, they go what's called an MA and that's how they measure radiation and in the hospitals this type of machine gets between five and eight hundred radiation doses mm -hmm. here we're at two wow yeah so really low dose stuff wow that's good so good well i appreciate you taking time to thank you very much to show you around our you know digital motion x-ray and uh, showing people how to how to get get, get them better results thank you yeah i appreciate right. it yeah thank you